Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Laura. And I'm Carolina. And today we are making stuffed peppers. Mm -hmm. All you're gonna need are bell peppers. We have four red ones, some red onion or onion of your choice, some shredded cheese to top, and some grass-fed ground beef. In the interest of saving time, we're going to saute the ground beef and cook it most of the way through and then stuff the peppers. That way it only takes about 15-20 minutes in the oven. Just enough time for the peppers to cook through. So for our peppers, we've decided to go a little bit more south of the border with our Mexican spices and we're going to use the ground cumin and the garlic powder. And we'll probably also use some salt, maybe some pepper. All right guys, so we're gonna be start by sauteing the ground beef, and then while that's sauteing, we're gonna get the bell peppers cored out and ready for all the ingredients to be put in. So we are turning our stove on to medium, medium high heat. We'll let that heat up just for a second, and then we'll put it in. You don't need to add anything else to the pan to get it started, like olive oil or anything, because there's enough fat in the ground beef so it's not gonna stick it in the pan or anything. The ground beef cooked up really, really fast. I didn't even leave to do the peppers yet, but it's pretty much all the way cooked through. We've turned the heat off and we're just gonna let it hang out in the pan until we finish the peppers, just coring them out. And then we're gonna stuff them. Stay tuned. The peppers are cored, sponsor us. And we are now going to be lining our little tin with some foil so that it doesn't stick anywhere. And it's an easy it makes clean up. Yeah, it makes cleaning super easy. Cool. Just use whatever olive oil or butter spray you have. Just a little Just spray. Just a little bit. That's it. <clears throat> All right, pro tip. So it's not ne necessary, but it helps a lot if you get bell peppers that stand up right on their own. It's just nice. It makes it a little easier to fill them, and when they cook, you know they're gonna be upright and not falling over. We're making it really simple with just some ground beef and some spices and a little bit of cheese, but feel free to add, um, if you wanna add rice to it, oh, if yeah. you wanna add some cream cheese, um, Maybe to make it a little bit creamier. Yeah, I've done it with like a bunch of different veggies in there too. I've done it with quinoa, uh, mushrooms, celery, carrots. Like you can really, it's endless. Yeah. The, the different types of foods you can put in there. Okay, so we preheated the oven to 400. That's really all you need. 15, 20 minutes, just keep an eye on them. The beef is already cooked through, so you're good there. And then don't put the cheese on yet. We're gonna put the cheese on at the very last, like five minutes or so. And now we wait. All right guys, so we have just hit the three minute mark before the peppers are gonna be done. And now we're going to take them out for just a second and sprinkle the cheese on top.
They're perfect. Yeah. So a way to know that the peppers have cooked through enough is that they get a little bit wrinkly at the top. And then also just by feeling them, you can tell that they've softened. They're still holding their shape and they're looking good, but yeah, they're just a little soft. And if you like them um, a little bit crunchier, you can also mix in some breadcrumbs and then stick it on the broiler for three minutes and that'll make it like very crispy on top. Mm. You have lots of options. Another thing I've done in the past that recipes have called for is if you want the bell pepper to be more done, that you put the bell peppers in the oven or the um, toaster oven first and let them cook through a bit and then you put all the stuffing inside and then you cook them again one more time so they get a little softer. Okay, so we are going to plate it up and we're gonna do a taste test. Yes, all right, which one? Which one do we choose? Oh, okay. okay. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, okay so I'm not gonna lie, when I make these at home, I usually have two because they don't hold that much meat, but also if you're putting a bunch of veggies inside as well, then you're really not getting that much um, protein in there. Also, I love adding avocado on top of these too. The cheese is great, but so is a little avo. Can't go wrong. Or some sour cream. Oof, yeah. Okay, we're going in guys. Taste test. It might be really hot. I like it because, so I think we did 20 minutes in the oven. Mm -hmm. It makes it so the pepper is still crunchy, like it still holds its shape, which I personally love, because if it's a mushy mess, then it's just... Nobody wants a mushy mess. Exactly. Is it too hot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. It's missing some salt. <laughs> we didn't add salt. We forgot to salt. Yeah, when we were sauteing, so I would... Mm. I would add some salt. Putting salt on the red pepper before you actually stick it in the oven to cook. That might be good too. That's a good idea. Boom. But yeah guys, it's so good. Oh my gosh, this is really, really good. Yeah, it's just, it's really, really good. <laughs> is it really, really good? Or really, really good. <laughs> oh no. This guy's in my way. It's your first time eating. <laughs> yeah, hitting with some Sour cream, avocado, even some salsa. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'd be really good. I like simple because then it's something that you can easily remember and repeat. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, though. Oh just out of curiosity, though. I don't know if you know, but did, did, did you hit that subscribe button? Yeah, did you hit it yet? Because I didn't hear it. So go ahead and hit it. Hit that bell notification. Mm -hmm. And also give us a thumbs up because you love us. We love you. Yeah, we're we love you friends. guys. We're all friends here. This is really good though. Mm. Just... Laura is absolutely done. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, so that is it for this week's Foodie Friday with a simple stuffed bell pepper recipe. Please give it a try and share with your friends and family. All the information along with the recipe is down in the description box. And don't forget to tag us if you try this recipe and also let us know what ingredients you use to stuff the peppers. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye guys. We on? We're moving and grooving, baby. All right. <laughs> well, I think you did it last time. So you did it. Okay, then you go. <laughs> oh, this should be easy. <laughs> should be. Yum. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Interest of saving time. <laughs> Seriously, if you can see this bowl right now. <laughs> Round two, by the way. <laughs> we tend yeah, to do that. Soft. <laughs> it's like molasses. <laughs> Yep, and we'll probably just do a little <clears throat> seasoning. Put on here. Wonderful video. Hated that. Nope. Hated it so she much. Hated it. <laughs> okay. Okay. What? These bloopers are gonna be money. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Soft and firm. That was my little dance. I'm gonna get on myself anyway. Honestly, are you a professional? <laughs> no. I don't know what's wrong with my forking skills. <laughs> <laughs>
sound bites you give me are so cool. 